Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, you guys. It's a beautiful sunny day today. I'm so happy. It's going to be up in the 50s. Um, yeah, can't beat that. So just really happy to see the sun for a few days. But I did make it out to the Dollar Tree. I picked up some really cool stuff. I'll show you these baskets here and stuff in a second. But um, yeah, different things are coming out. But I did get a few things here that, you know, that I usually get. I got the two bars of the Coast. I had my one light off in here because it's been so glary that I'm hoping just the window is going to be enough here. Um, and I'm just my backlight. But yeah, I think that actually shows up better. But yeah, I got a two-pack of the Coast. Um, and then I picked this up just because I really liked how pretty this little container is. It's called Cashmere Vanilla Foaming Hand Soap. It smells pretty nice. Um, it's, oh, this isn't the one that's the vanilla and something. This is just the vanilla scent. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, um, contains essential oils, alcohol, and dye free. So I thought that would look nice out on my kitchen sink. So I'll give that a try. I love the foaming soaps. Um, food wise, I didn't pick up much food wise. Well, this isn't even considered food, I don't think, but of course, you guys know I picked up another pack of the Haribo peach gummies because, yeah, I'm just addicted to the Haribo peach gummies. So I got another bag of those. I also picked up this little container of lemon juice, which is perfect. Um, I want to try to make some of the stain remover I saw as a little recipe for you know, with lemon juice and I forget what else goes in it. <laughs> but I didn't have any lemon juice, so this is perfect because I've done, done that before, trying to make different cleaners and stuff. And then I buy a big thing of lemon juice and it just sits in my refrigerator until I get rid of it. So I figured this is the perfect size. It's eight ounces. It comes in this cute little lemon. They also had it, the lime, too, in a little lime. And then I got another two-pack of... What are they calling these? These are called the lasagna pans. I get these to make ziti in. Um, they're perfect, and I use these a lot in the summer, like for potato salads and stuff. You want to take it somewhere, you just take it, leave it. You don't have to worry about your containers. But I like this size. You can make all kinds of stuff in these, and you get two. And those are quite crazy. I looked at them in my grocery store. I was like, you got to be kidding me. They wanted like 5 $6 for some of those containers in my grocery store. So... Thankfully, Dollar Tree still has those. Now, I found these new baskets that they have. I haven't seen these before. Um, they don't belong in there. Well, they do belong in there. But I picked these up in the gray. They did have another color I didn't care for. I don't remember which one it was. More of a peachy, I think, maybe. I can't remember now. I looked at so many. They have so many pretty containers out. But I want to use these in my one closet that's out by my bird room. Um... I don't know what size these are. I can never tell by the thing here. So these are about eight and a half inches wide, and this one's a square, and they're about five and a half inches tall. So I got three of these. I'm going to line up on my one shelf in there, and I'm um, just trying to get organized. My closets are a disaster. And then they also had these bigger ones here. It's kind of like oblong ones. Put the other ones back there. And I just really like the print. And I like this solid gray piece here at the top. And this one has the two handles in it. These little ones have handles? Yes, they do. I didn't even notice that. The little ones both have these handles on each side, too. Um, but yeah, now this one is 11 inches long and 7 and a half inches wide. And they are about five and a half inches tall. So if you're looking for something for a space that size, there you go. But yeah, they're pretty sturdy. So I thought these would be great. And then I picked up some of these, what are they calling these here? In the crafter square sh section, they're just these chalkboard tags. And I think I want to hook them onto like a clothespin on the back that I can just kind of clip right down in here. And um, they have those small clothespins. I'm hoping that will work. Put that right on the back of these, and then I can label each one of these baskets with these little chalkboard tags. So I bought two packs of those. You get four in each one. And they have different shapes of these, too, if you don't like this shape. But I thought that'd be a great idea, because, you know, you get these up on the shelf and you don't remember what's in them. It's great to have a little label, so I'm going to keep that all together there. 
Hopefully I'll get to that pretty soon. I've been wanting to get those closets done all winter and I didn't get it. Now it's spring and they're still a mess. All right. I did pick up a couple more things to stick in my little one's Easter baskets here. I got this cute little duck. I thought he was just the cutest little thing with his little fluffy feathers here on the top. <laughs> he is just a hoot. I don't know if he's a chick or a duck. It could, I think it's a duck by his... Yeah, it is. Big old beak here. And then this cute little bunny. And they all have these little pretty little feet. These just look cute sitting in the basket with their goodies. So I got those to go in there. And I also picked up these to go in their baskets. I thought these were a hoot. Um, they're just called Easter Flying Discs. And I used to even love these when I was a kid. You know, you put them on top of there, you wind it up, and... Uh, yeah, there's got to be a little button here somewhere that you push. And then, you know, you have your little propeller fly up in the air. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. So I got two of those to put in the baskets with their goodies. Not so much with the candy this time. Just a few things I got. Now these, oh, I couldn't believe I found these. I finally found these phones that my Amazon loves to play with. And I just ordered them a bunch from Timo that I got for like $2.89 or $2.98, something like that. And then of course I go to Dollar Tree and they are fully stocked up. My camera's having a hard time focusing with this lighting, I think. Um, they're fully stocked up on these phones again. So I got him a pink one and I got him a white one. And it's just these little buttons down here. He just loves to play with these things and make them make noise. And for a dollar twenty-five, I don't mind, you know, that he wrecks it like in a, under a week. Trust me. And then I did pick him up two green ones. I have one over here I unwrapped already that I'm gonna give him. But yeah, I said it figures. I haven't been able to find these for like a year. I've been looking every Dollar Tree I go to, and then of course I ordered them somewhere else for more money, and there they were at the Dollar Tree. But anyway, he whoops, he is stocked up on his little electronic phones. I do have a video of him playing with one too. I think it's uh, it's probably on my animal channel where I have, he's playing with one of his little phones. I think the yeah the link to that channel is down below. It's called Crazy Animal House. If you guys want to check out any of my birds' goofiness, um, <clears throat> these were different. And this is in that really crinkly paper, so I apologize for the noise. These are the wood slices. It's you get 120 grams doesn't say how many pieces but these are nice round pieces I've looked for round pieces forever because a lot of times you know with those little things you're making you want to make little little wheels or something or you know just to use them to decorate something but yeah so I picked up two packs of those those were something new I didn't find a ton new but I did find a few things that were new I think that's all I got out of the craft oh no these I got from the crafter square section this fabric I got some of this gray check, and these are the fat quarters of the fabric. Let me just open it up so you can see a little better. But I love this. I bought two of these because I figured I will use this more than anything else. Um, and they are, of course, I just ripped through it, 18 by 21 inches if you not don't know the size. So they're a great little size to do, you know, crafting with. They're perfect. And then I picked up this one. This one I definitely got to rip open. And this one is nothing but kitty cats. Look at that fabric. Look at the print. How cute are those little kitty cats? <laughs> some of them got regular glasses, some of them got sunglasses on, and little flowers in their fur. I was going to say hair. But yeah, I really like those. I thought that was so cute. So I did get one of those. And then I picked up a pack in the stationery aisle of the sticky notes. I love these little sticky notes. They have like the little flag sticky notes and just, you know, regular ones that you want to use for whatever. They're just so pretty. You know, they're like, this look like marble and I don't know. I use a lot of sticky notes too for different things. So I thought that was nice. Um, it says 11 pieces, but I don't know how many pieces are on each one. You get a lot for $1.25. And it makes a cute little gift, too, if you want to stick this in a gift basket for somebody. Um, you know, because they're really pretty. Put a pretty pen in there or something. And then I picked this up for my husband. This is the pocket size fill-in numbers games. He likes to play these games. So I got him that. I hope this is the one that he likes. We shall see. But it has over 100 puzzles in here. 
So they have lots of these puzzle books. It's great that they have them at Dollar Tree. Um, and then down in like the candle aisle where they have the candles and the sand and things for vases and stuff, I found these cute little bottles. Look how pretty. Hopefully the glare's not too bad. You can't see that. Um, they're just so pretty. I don't care for this. I don't think this really matches this very well. I don't know. I may just add some jute string and make a bow on here. I'm not too crazy about this. Um, the way the bow looks on here. It's kind of weird looking. Oh, it has like the little dandelions. Yeah, it's really pretty. So I got that one and then they also had this one with the pretty flowers and butterflies on it. So yeah, I thought that one was real pretty too. But again, I don't don't care for this ribbon and it's not glued on or anything. You can just pop those off and change it or just leave it without. I might just leave it without. I don't know. But these always look cute up on a shelf and with some like spring and summer decor. But just not a fan of that ribbon. It's just too stiff or something. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. But <laughs> you guys probably know. There we go. I actually think they look better with no ribbon. So that was that. And then I picked this up. They have getting a few things out for summer. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. It's, what are they calling it? Is it a candle holder or are they calling it anything? But I'm sure that's the intent for it. Um, it has this nice little handle so you could hang it if you wanted to. Um, I don't know if I would hang it, but it has a nice jute string bow on this one. I like the bow on this one. And then the seahorse, it's a really big one. And it's really nice. So I thought that was so pretty. I just love that color of the blue. Very nautical looking. So I did pick that up. And then these I were different. I haven't seen these before. And these are just like a flower and a flower. Just little decor pieces that you could, you know, add to your spring and summer decor. I thought those were nice. So I got this one in the white. And then I also got one in the yellow. So yeah. And then I did get some flowers. They haven't had these in a long, long time. And these are the smaller size roses that they have. I love these. They're so much fuller and they look so much more realistic than the really big ones. So I got three in the white. Um, and they're just calling these roses. I just saw something. There it is. Something sparkling on here. But yeah, they're really pretty. And then I picked up three in this pretty pink. And these were the only two colors that I could find. So, but yeah, these are really, really nice. So I do want to start doing some more like little centerpieces and things that people always enjoy. Um, you know, make some nice inexpensive centerpieces for different events and things. That's always a lot of fun. But that is pretty much all I got this time at Dollar Tree. They're kind of like in between these seasons here now with... Easter and trying to get out some of the spring and summer, whoops, spring and summer things. So I'm going to put this away and I will go grab little P so he can come in for a visit and I will be right back. All right, little P, will come in here, say hello to everybody. He was very busy out there. I kind of interrupted him. He was up on top of, uh, actually Charlie, my WHL double yellowhead Amazon. He was on top of his cage playing. Of course, the Amazon wasn't there. He's over in the window on a tree stand. But here, you want your yucca wood? See, I was very busy ripping wood apart up there. I told him he has to come in here because he's he's like a superstar. Huh, are you a superstar? Yes, I am. Well, while you're ripping that up, I am going, oh, here, no, nope, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to grab a tissue here and clean up the little you left me on the floor on the way in. <clears throat> All right. There you go. So thank goodness bird poopy does not snow. Huh. <laughs> because these guys poop like every 15 minutes, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Are you having fun? He says, yes, it's a sunny day. Oh, God bless you. It's a sunny day, and, uh, yeah, a happy boy. So, 
today. I am going to make quick work of this yucca wood. It is his favorite thing in the world to do. So I always bring one in here. Keeps him out of trouble for a minute anyway, huh? So you're not trying to get my paintbrushes and everything else that you're not supposed to get into. Well, you're even working on the outside edge. Usually he drops the outside edge when he's done, doesn't want to play with it anymore. Get some soft stuff from the center. You're just getting every little bit of it today, aren't you? His new thing now is trying to get into the dog goodies. Well, it's not really new. He's done it before, but he's really been persistent this week. I have him in one of those glass, you know, big round glass canisters that have like the, you know, the glass top onto it. And he's figured out how to get in there, get his beak underneath that thing, pop the seal on it, flip it off, and then he just <laughs> hangs on top of it and grabs dog goodies. <sighs> huh. Say, I figure everything out. Because keeping them in the boxes doesn't work because if they're sitting up on the counter, he will just tear the boxes apart. I need to get, like, steel boxes with locks on everything. <laughs> huh. Although you'd probably figure out how to do it. <clears throat> These guys, I am always... I mean, between me and my husband, we are always tightening up the nuts and bolts on their cages because they literally unscrew them. Sometimes I can't even find them. They'll like unscrew them, throw them on the floor or in the cage, and sometimes I think the little nuts end up getting thrown out when I clean the papers out of the bottom of the cage. But I'll tell you, these these guys, huh? I don't think him so much. I don't think he really takes the nuts and bolts out. But I know my African Grey and my um, Cockatoo. Yes, they are very very good at undoing nuts and bolts. It doesn't matter how tight we put them on there. I swear they work on them until they get them loose. And <laughs> it's just crazy. What you guys can do with them little beaks of yours. Huh. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm done with that now. What can I do? What can you do? What you going after today? See any hawks out there? I don't see any. I've seen a bunch of robins out here today, which is really nice. We have one robin that has stayed here all winter for the last three winters. The only one to always all by itself. Um, I think maybe because, you know, we throw that bird food and the fruits and veggies out that these guys don't eat. We throw them out in the back for the birds and stuff, and I guess it figured, hey, it's good eating all year round. So it stays. It's the only time I've never seen a robin stay all winter. But this one guy or girl is here all winter long. Like, at least, I'm pretty sure at least three years now. And I was so happy. I get so happy when I see another robin, at, robin out there. It's like, oh, your friends are back. Yeah, it's just this one lonely robin all winter long out here on our deck. Huh, Pay. Yeah, are you guys like friends or something? Is that why he stays? Say, I ain't friends with anybody. <laughs> any birdie, I should say. I'm not friends with any birdie. No. What's that? What do you hear out in the hallway? Is that the doggies out there? He really wants to get over there and get my ladybug and stuff. You can't have that. Those are glass. I know you love to throw glass. Mm-hmm. All right, little P. I think we're going to let everybody go here. We got stuff to do. Oh, yeah. Stretch it out. There you go. Such pretty feathers. Gosh, yes. What do you think? We were all puffy. All right, well, tell everybody thanks so much for watching. See, we'll, you'll see everybody on Friday. <laughs>
Say have a great day, everyone. Say bye, P.